Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be covering the 3DO Interactive Multiplayer. I never owned one of these when I was younger, but my brother had the CDI and the 3DO. Whenever I went over to his house, I would play Road Rash all day long. I still love that game to this day. We're going to be using RetroArch to emulate 3DO. There are a few standalone emulators for the 3DO system, but RetroArch handles it perfectly fine. Before we get started, there's a few things you will need. There's a link in the description, a text file I created that tells us everything we need to know about getting the 3DO emulator up and running inside of RetroArch. The BIOS needed, associated platform, and the default command line parameter for within LaunchBox. Go ahead and download that. Next thing you'll need is the BIOS itself. This is panafz10.bin. And finally, you'll need some 3DO games. So I have a folder named 3DO Interactive Multiplayer. I put all of my games inside of it. Each game is in its own folder. So we'll go to Corpse Killer. As you can see, there's two files, the ISO and the Q file. You'll need both of these for the game to work correctly. You see how I have mine set up here? LaunchBox will scan this complete folder and find each game within its own folder. So LaunchBox will take care of everything for us. Since we're using RetroArch, we need to start at one time and download the 4DO core. My RetroArch is located inside of my LaunchBox directory under emulators. It's my C drive, users, ETA prime, LaunchBox, emulators, RetroArch. We're gonna start it up one time from the main menu, scroll down to Online Updater, Core Updater. We're going to find 3DO, 4DO. This is the 4DO Libretro Core. Let's download it. Pretty quick download, extract it. We're done with RetroArch. Now we need to place our BIOS inside of our RetroArch folder in another folder called System. We're just going to take our pan, afz10.ben, Place it right in here. RetroArch will automatically detect that we have the correct 3DO BIOS and use it for us. We'll back up to our LaunchBox directory. Inside of my LaunchBox directory, I'm going to place my games. So I have a folder named Games, and I'm just going to place my 3DO interactive multiplayer folder with all of my games in it inside of this directory. They will be portable now. It's time to start LaunchBox and set up the RetroArch emulator. If you don't have RetroArch already set up in LaunchBox, Jason and Brad have created awesome RetroArch tutorials. I'll leave a link in the description. So if you don't have it set up, pause this video here, go get RetroArch set up, and then come back. If you already have it set up, very easy to do. Tools, Manage Emulators, RetroArch, Associated Platforms. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And that text file you downloaded has everything we need. So from here, our associated platform is going to be 3DO, Interactive Multiplayer. Paste. And our default command line parameter is going to be minus L all the way down to the quotation. This is the 4DO Libretro Core. Make sure this is checked. Click OK. Close. It's time to import our games. Tools. Import. ROM files. This is the import wizard. We'll click Next. Add a folder. Now I placed my 3DO games inside of my LaunchBox directory under Games. 3DO Interactive Multiplayer. LaunchBox is going to scan this folder along with each folder inside of here and find our games. Click OK and Next. Platform for imported ROMs, 3DO Interactive Multiplayer. Next. Choose an emulator. RetroArch should already be chosen, but if it's not, drop it down, find RetroArch. Next, 
I'm gonna use their files in their current location because I already placed them in my LaunchBox directory. Search for game information from the LaunchBox games database. I'm gonna leave this one checked. Wikipedia, I leave unchecked. Next. Would you like to download images for your games? Of course we would. Next. If you've never used this feature before, it might prompt you to sign into EMU Movies. I definitely recommend doing so. It'll download some really good music, artwork, and videos for you. It is free to use, but there is an option to donate to EMU Movies, which will allow you to download more videos per day. Click Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? No. So we'll go with Next one more time. Ready to import the name of the game, the file directory, and the extension. LaunchBox is going to be reading off of the Q files to play the ISO. Finish. It's going to import our games. I'm only importing a few, so it's not going to take me too long. If you're importing like the 50 games that are on the 3DO, then it might take you a little while. Just sit back and relax. My five games were imported successfully. I'll click OK. Over in the left-hand column, you should now see a 3DO option. And here are my games. Corpse Killer, The Need for Speed, Road Rash, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Way of the Warrior. I'm going to start Way of the Warrior. Double click. It'll start RetroArch for us. My controller's configured. My FPS is up in the top left-hand corner. This is such a great game. I know it looks horrible, but you gotta remember these came out in the early 90s. And this was the start of realistic games. Now these are kind of stop motion pictures of people made into sprites, like a lot of the games on the 3DO, but it's definitely worth setting this up inside of your launch box setup because these are great to have. And sound does work, they used Rob Zombie music for this game, so I couldn't put it in the video. But sound works perfectly within the 4DO emulator. I'll back out of here. I'll start one more game. Road Rash, amazing game. This is Road and Track, The Need for Speed. Not really the same as The Need for Speed you're used to. It's definitely a classic. I've always wanted to try Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo on the 3DO, so I'm going to start that now. So there are only a few options within the 4DO core, but one of them is worth trying out on certain games. So what I'm going to do is press my L3 and my R3 buttons to exit back to RetroArch. Scroll over to the game we're playing, which is Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Down to Options. And you can turn high resolution on or off. It does require a game restart. Mine's on. I'll just back out of here. It does help out on some games, but the 3DO was a very low resolution system in the first place. Let's go with Super Battle. I should have turned the turbo speed up. We'll back out of this game. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the LaunchBox channel for more tutorials and news on upcoming features for LaunchBox. 3DO isn't for everybody, but I know a lot of you guys will appreciate playing some of these awesome 3DO games. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. And like always, thanks for watching.